what are the benefits of glutathione? Gil, I know you have a lot of experience with that. Glutathione is the most potent antioxidant in the body. It helps to relieve free radicals, clean toxins, and detoxify the liver. Uh, it is something that I believe in dermatology. It's often used for bleaching effects of the skin, and we know that a healthy liver helps to clear the skin as well. Uh, that, I believe, is usually done at much higher doses and frequencies. Mm -hmm. For optimal support of the liver and overall health, uh, usually one to two ml of 200 milligram concentration per week is plenty sufficient. And glutathione is made naturally in the liver. And one of the precursors for it is uh, N-acetylcysteine, which is an amino uh, or NAC, as you can buy it uh, orally in a 600 milligram capsule, usually dose twice per day, morning and evening. The problem is that as with any uh, process that occurs in an organ, as you age and the organ begins to lose efficacy, the ability of the liver to produce glutathione from precursors is going to be diminished, right? So it would be like trying to treat hypogonadism with DHEA, right? It's not something that's going to work. It may work in a mild deficiency in a younger person. It's definitely not going to replace this for age-related or primary hypogonadism. By the same token, just NAC on its own is not going to help someone who is later on in life and deficient to really clean out the liver. And that's really where we get into the direct glutathione applications. Uh, I'd be very cautious with the oral administration that's often sold over the counter. I don't know how effective or how bioavailable that would be. I do know that the compounded injectable 200 milligram per ml glutathione uh, is, is phenomenal. I've personally used it for a couple of years now and we have several patients who use it regularly with good success. I've even seen a dramatic decrease in bilirubin levels in a patient with hepatitis B who was given eight weeks of glutathione injections once per week. And his bilirubin literally normalized uh, from, from an elevated state just with that alone. So it is extremely potent. And uh, I recommend it, especially if you have non-fatty alcoholic liver, if you do tend to drink, if you use NSAIDs, if you use, um, although I know NSAIDs are more on the kidneys, but if you use uh, over-the-counter pain meds, Tylenol, et cetera, uh, this is something that should be a staple in uh, in most guys, you know, later in life. And when I say later, I mean, you know, 35, 40 and up, there's really no harm in, um, in, in adding this to your protocol. Hey, thank you for watching. And do this next. Watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about hormone optimization.